Hey everybody, it's Friday, so yeah. I love my fun up here, of so I know I can outspeed this thing, so I decided to go straight a U-turn straight away and just decided to go into my Rotom, so I know he won't be, uh, be able to do anything to me at all, so I, and I know he's going to switch out here, just the fact that he went for the Earthquake pretty much tells me he's scarf, so I can just go straight for the Volt Switch, um, easily uh, just Volt Switch out, and now I can go back and find Fernet, U-turn again, and basically I'm going to get some Volt Turning action going on here, because Volt Turn actually does a lot to his team, he can't, he doesn't really have anything to take it, especially this Rotom, this Rotom is a big threat, because the only thing he has to take a Volt Switch is this, um, is this Landorus, really, and um, that can't really take a Hydro Bomb at all, and it can't take on uh, Rotom and it can't threaten it at all, so that's always good, but yeah, basically as you can see this Volt Turn is actually doing a lot to his team, he does a lot to that Latios, but I decided now to um, go into my Tyranitar just to uh, try and take uh, this thing on, because I don't really want uh, Rotom taking this thing on, so yeah, I know I can take a hit, so I decided to set out my Stealth Rocks rather than a Crunch or anything, because that would just probably be better for me, and I decided to switch out into Roger now, because I can, I can, no, I can take a Surf, but he predicts that I guess, and just go for the Dragon Pulse, but that's fine, because um, he really can't touch me, and I just keep going for a Recover, trying to stall out this thing, because I know the Sand is going to kill me off in a couple of turns time, so yeah, that's of, of it, uh, like no sweat off my back whatsoever because he's just going to keep dragon pulse me and now he's going to die so that's a dead Latios and that Latios was kind of a threat but it's not anymore. He goes into a sizzle now which is a threat and I decided to go into um, Rotom because Rotom can usually take take on sizzle as long as them yeah pretty pretty much take them on and especially if he wants to U-turn it obviously won't be like con consecutively doing that because he'll be switched out so I decided to go into, uh, for the pain split on this Tyranitar because I wanted to get a little bit of HP back. He decided to set up with rocks really not an issue because I have nothing that's really hurt by rocks that matter so I decided to go for the will o -Wisp in case he wanted to go for crunch and he does and that crunch obviously does nothing because he is burned, so that's really nice. And now I'm just going to decide to go for the Volt Switch, I believe, because I can still get some Volt Turning action going on, especially with my Inferno Pack and you, you turn on this um, Tyranitar and do a lot of damage. Um, and this Crunch does absolutely nothing, so basically it's free switching for me, so that's always nice. Um, yeah, now I decide to go for the U turn, and it does quite a bit to that Tyranitar. I doesn't quite take it out, but that's fine because I can just go into my Gliscor, take uh, a Crunch really easily. And now I make a really, really, really big misclick. I decided to go for the. I went for the Taunt instead of the Earthquake, and I immediately face palm because that means the Ice Beam is going to kill me off uh, easily, and that's really horrible because now I don't have a physical war and as we'll see that matters in a little bit. But anyway I go into my Inferno, he goes into his Inferno and this is why my Gliscor, uh, lose my Gliscor matter because this uh, Inferno can do absolute do loads of shit to my team, as we'll, as we'll see in a minute. He um, he's going to kill, be able to kill my Rowan Water with a close combat. He's going to be able to kill, almost kill my Inferno with a Mac Punch. So basically, this thing is tearing through my absolute whole team, and I have nothing really to take it on. The only thing I have to take it on is, uh, well, I thought I'd be able to take a close combat a bit better than this, um, but I do live with one, so that's really nice and get off a recover. Basically, I'm um, stalling him out with Life Orb and uh, close combat stuff a bit, a little bit. We'll like, we'll Life Orb and Sandstorm. So yeah, I decided to go into into my Inferno now, sack him, and um, just get a little bit more uh, Sandstorm damage racking up. And now I just had to go to Landris because I know Landris can probably take um, a hit from this thing or maybe else be I don't know. But anyway, I went for the Earth Power just because I knew that would be able to kill him. And um, I just decided to stay in on this sizzle because I, I thought I could take it on. And Earth Power does manage to kill that. He goes into his Vaporeon now and I basically just go into Roger because uh, to take the predicted uh, Scald. But that doesn't happen. But I know I can probably live another um, Ice Beam from this guy. So it doesn't really matter because I can just go for the Recover right now, I think. Yeah. And uh, Roger can basically... I basically need Roger to take on that uh, Vaporeon because Vaporeon is... Kind of a threat and it's really hard to deal with, but as long as, long as I can toxic you, I should toxic you, I should be fine. But um, I have to sack my Landorus now. Basically, this whole team, go, my whole team, goes down to Inferno. But it's okay now because that Inferno he has killed itself due to life or recall and all that sort of stuff. So now I can go into Ro uh, Roger, who can pretty much stall out his last two guys. So I can get the toxic off on that Vaporeon and then start stockpiling up. Um, yeah, and basically just start stockpiling up on um, this thing because I really, he really can't do anything to me. I did decide to go for the recover because I was getting a bit un uneasy about how much HP I was at, and now I decide to go for the stockpile or maybe the recover. I can't really remember because uh, this this bit is very long and stalled. But yeah, I do go for the stockpile, and I believe I'm gonna uh, decide to go for the gig drain here just to see how much it would do. I thought it would do a lot less than it. Uh, yeah, it does a lot more than I thought it would right here, uh, but um, he goes to the Wish, and I thought, okay, that ultimate means he's going to go for Protect right here, but he makes a better play, predicts that in a second, and decides to go for the Raw, um, as I go for the Stop Pop, predicting the Protect, but he, like I said, he makes a good play, goes for Raw, and gets rid of my Defense Boost, but because he dies to the Sandstorm right here, it means he is not going to get his Wish, his Wish is, wish is completely wasted, um, and he goes into his Landorus, goes for the Earthquake, crits me, doesn't really, like, that crit didn't matter at all, because I know Roger can take on two Earthquakes, and I'm just going to decide to go for Giga Drone Trice and kill him off, um, I do create him on the second of Giga Drain, but it didn't matter at all, because you can see I get more less health back here than I do on the first one. So yeah, that was awesome for Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Thank you very much.